Hello and welcome. Yeah, just having a quick look at this. Yeah, I know we've just done this, so we're all we're all good. We need to check. Yeah, I need to check the chickens, ducks, ducks, <laughs> dogs. Let's not get this wrong. Yeah, these are not chickens. They do not look anything remotely like chickens. This is the first time I have ever had ducks. Quite amazing. Now, yeah, 20, yeah, we have literally just done everything. So we've just been checking the fields. There's nothing left to do. So with that in mind, yeah, I know this is the proper grass, as in like it's ready, but you can see, oh, that is important. Did I do that? I believe that looks pretty conclusively good to me. Let's quickly check across the road. And I can't remember if I did, yeah, I can't remember if I did do that. And it is true, I think I said yesterday, well I did sort of start it, but I, I, my trouble is I zip here, there and everywhere. I look, look at something and then I literally speak what I say, what I see, because I'm concentrating on trying to uh, keep up with, yeah, telling you everything. But those trees are going to go in the back ends, yeah, we will um, take them out on express wishes of Urin doors, as Arthur Daly would have said, which is probably an analogy that not many people of a certain age, youngsters, etc. And also, if you're not British, yeah, you, Arthur, Arthur Daly was a, a bit of a, he was a Londoner who was a, a very, um, a wide boy, as my dad would call him. <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit of a rogue. Yeah, lovable, mm, I'm not, not sure. But yeah, his, his minder was. Yeah, and I used to have a lot of, um, played by Dennis Waterman, absolutely, for those who remember. It was one of my favorite um, programs as a kid, as I was growing up, if I'm honest. Right. Anyway, yeah, enough of this, all right? We've got this ready, it says needs rolling, but yeah, we, we've got to plant it in that first, which we're not doing until next time now that is a point we i don't think there's is there anything we have got to sell i don't think there is we're basically living on fertilizing stuff aren't we really seeds yeah we've got some eggs total extraction yeah oh eggs yeah we've only just started to get them so it's not when are the eggs november that is true yeah, i remember that from the other canola oil December, so we've got to keep our eye open for that because we've got a lot of that. It's not nearly got that all done now by the look of it. Sod fertilizer, herbicide. We're not selling that, are we? That was just for us. Lime, we've got plenty. Digestate. Digestate is the one. Oh no, yeah, that is a point actually. Why is that got so high? Or oh, it will be because that can't process anymore. Yeah. I'm doing this on purpose so as this doesn't produced overly much yeah, slurry manure seed solid fertilizer yeah water which is only for the herbicide i think let's just have a check remind myself because this is still relatively ah, it is you can do manure plus digestate we are missing a trick aren't we did i switch that off because i'm sure we had that for a while Solid fertilizer digestate 2000 produces one that and we did the manure because it cuts that out, doesn't it? We need to go and grab a, a thing of manure, straw plus, slurry. yeah. And you can make manure from straw plus slurry, but where we're doing other things with that, so right. So we need to go and grab a load of manure, which we're allowing. Oh, that is point. How much can we stick in there? I know it's 100 tons max, but what I mean is how much have we got in 50 tons. So we need 50 tons. So what we'll do is we'll go and grab a, where is the 70 tonner? Where is the 70 ton? Uh, uh, have I got a 70 tonner on this one? Yeah, <laughs> it's just confusing, it is. Yeah, now I've got uh, Avon Valley, we've got the big E, the really big E. And I know we've got the 30 ton on almost every let's play, which I did say that that would be the way that it went. Please tell me. Oh, no, we are not in my garage. Please tell me what have we got. We have got the 70 tonner. Where are you? Right, ah, right the way over there. I think, yeah, it's on there. Of course it is. I remember putting the canola in there. So it is. It probably isn't. Let's have a look as we pass it. As we're going to grab it. Are we going to use it? No, we'll grab the slow tractor. I only really want to use this for around the yard. It's a cracking tractor. Oh, wow. That is very unlevel. But it's not the sort of tractor you want to be like running around from one side of the uh, to the other. Right, we did say we're going to look at this. Let's have a quick look. 
we have. Oh wow, it has actually nearly. Oh no, no, it's got 47 tons of canola left. So, yeah, we've got till November to actually get that doing. So, all right. So we need. I do like the colour of this. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Oh, can't we sort? Of, no, we wouldn't do that to our neighbour, would we? Really? Although, no, what? You probably would really. And they, yeah, I would allow them on my thing. Would you sneak across their thing like this? Probably not. That is true. But I have I've started to finish. But you're right. Really, that's a bit naughty. You would have on a right away. But would you really do that on your neighbour's thing without a right away like this? Oh, and that that's it. You see. Oh, and now we seem to be snaggled. Yeah. Oh, we are. Okay, and that's what you get, you see, for going places you shouldn't go. Yeah, well, well, this one, one time and one time only, is uh, yeah, I agree totally. <sighs> you wouldn't really, would you? I am a bit of a terror for this. I have said this. I admit it. It's yeah, it's a bad habit of mine. It really is. Right. So then we need the newer. We're going to get seventy tons. We'll stick the rest in the. Oh, I always forget. It always catches me out. Because it's a right hand side to get out of. Yeah. It's I'm quite chuffed really, and I'm getting really getting around to remember. No, actually, yeah, this is <laughs> this is the side we do want to get out of this time. Yeah, I, I am really getting even Agres, I did a, a, a one on Agres, uh, Avon Valley, I'm getting around nicely. Avon Valley, well, what can I say? It's gone out of survival now and we're buying big equipment. It reminds me of Western Wilds. We've we've uh, gone over the brow of a hill but it doesn't mean to say that we've yeah right so we want manure no, I can never remember which way I think it's this way I think oh you were right actually yeah we'll take a full 70 tons it is really reasonable as well I say the only reason I'm allowing this is because of the the fact that this isn't producing manure and it really should do and I know we're nearly out of straw but I would put straw in how was it working there's just no point it really isn't so Obviously, if I see there's an update, then I shall obviously start to put straw in again in the hope that but there's so far I checked again today, there's not an update for it. And I'm not expecting it to be immediate. I've got to get better at that, actually, reporting mods. It's something I've never done, not as a content creator. I know it goes back, but, yeah, really. I know Frithgar was really good at that. I remember listening to him um, go on on a Let's Play about... Ooh, yeah, about uh, reporting issues, and he, he said it was a thankless task, and it sounded a right. Well, he didn't really sell it to me, shall we, shall we say? Okay, I appear to have lost my. I know what is happening. Excuse me, one minute. I've got a piece of software that is trying to shut down my computer, and I do know what it is. Yeah, I do. I apologise for this. Yeah, it's a, a piece of software and it's my own silly fault because I actually switched it on. Right, don't sleep. Right, come on. Please don't sleep. There we go. I did it earlier because I was re doing a session. Apologies for that. I shall probably cut it out though. I will. I don't cut many things out, but yeah, with me sitting in a tractor waiting for seconds because of a computer glitch. Now that, oh, I keep forgetting right hand side. Yeah, it's not really uh, interesting. Oh, I hate that because I'm terror at the best of times. Where did I get to? Oh, I, I, I've forgotten. I don't really know. I bought, I guess one thing I have said quite frequently. Yeah, one of my favourite English maps, and I always forget its name, is Greenwich Valley by. Oh, I knew his name yesterday. I hate that. I want to say Green Bale, but I, I think it's the green in the Greenwich. That's it's. It is Bale though. Something. It is. It could be Green Bale. I'm not sure, but it is. It's Greenwich Valley. One of my absolute all-time favourite English. It was actually one of the very first Let's Plays I actually did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. That was one of the few Let's Plays where I actually cut some cut footage out because I was stuck for about five solid minutes on a BGA wall and I just looked at it and thought, not, not because I was, it just, it didn't really make for terribly good entertainment is the only reason I cut that out. I think I left about 20 seconds in. But yeah, it's one of the very, very few times I have not actually kept footage in. But yeah, 
because it really was not entertaining not because I'm yeah I mean I've I've kept myself in the old stream farm that's a bit where I was stuck in a shed I kept that in because that was that was it it was actually quite scary <laughs> I literally went in a shed and then couldn't turn around and it was one of those things where yeah that, where I really just couldn't get out and I was like thinking am I gonna do this shouldn't I switch the cameras off and I thought no nah. Not really. No, this, this will give people a good laugh. And, and I was determined I was going to get out, so we did. So 50 tons of this will go in. Yeah, I am a bit disappointed with the um, the white boss, with it saying it had got row crops and then damaging the crop. I was, yeah, I mean, we bought that. Not, I mean, I did really want to do it too. And it is a cracking tractor, but obviously it was bought a lot um, for the fact that it did have row crops and we really uh, it was obviously to help us as well but that didn't quite work out to plan now, I suppose I could just if we're gonna cycle through till tomorrow then why not just cycle through till tomorrow because as yeah we shall I think did we look at the sales we did I remember it well let's sleep through till tomorrow August now let's have a look actually because it's yeah did I show you this or did I look at this? I did have a bit of a look just to see, but I don't think I did show yourselves. I started somewhere else, didn't I? Literally, yeah. Yeah, the growth. As you can see, it's getting green, but it's not dark green, so we're, we're quite a bit away. I think it's October, so ooh, let's uh, sleep through till the morning. And it is indeed, is it? It is August. This is the month that I go till 9 o'clock in September. I always do. Oh, oh. Uh, it's done that thing. I'm gonna have to speed time up now till about 9:45, 9:50, and also move because otherwise it does a weird thing. I don't ask me why, but this is—I've never had it fail yet when I do that as well. Otherwise, it will say that uh, unable to. Yeah, I cannot complete this action now or something like that because it's too close to nine o'clock I don't I never used to do that although I must admit I always got very confused over why it didn't do that whereas really it was actually exceptionally logical when you went from eight till nine that actually only an hour passes it is very very true now then is that snow that second growth stage now then anybody who knows anything about myself will know that I do not like cutting in October or November but we could cut in September. It will still grow in October and on November morning and we'll die back one stage and we'll still be just as good for next year. Yeah, I've got to get into the habit of doing this because I usually say, no, I'm not going to cut the grass. But we're losing, a, we're losing a cut stage really, right? Let's also, oh my life. I, I didn't even look at the money. <laughs> I went up 600 grand. That's because you were doing two lots of fertilizer. <gasps> that is absolutely tremendous. I bet you we've really, really taken the the uh, manure down that we have look at that it's really wow that is phenomenal 24 right so we need to get another 70 tons of that we also need to, yeah now let's also think about what we've just carried yes so I was trying to do this to simulate the fact that obviously I know it's we would clean it much much more properly but this is as far as the game mechanics go so this isn't I do love that colour that is really quite nice I do look I've got to be honest I have fallen in love with that uh, the colour mod it is amazing absolutely stupid I'm thoroughly enjoying chroming nearly everything I am I admit it I have gone mad with chrome truthfully I have all right, do we choose another tractor now? Because it is a little bit on the slow side. As much as I do love it, and I do, it's, I've got very fond memories of this um, st de-stoning on No Man's Land. I really have. But I, I do think we have got perhaps the big challenger that's the fastest we've got would probably be the one that we really should go across the road. And I do believe, before we forget, we need to check the sales over my breakfast. Right. Now do we? No, we don't need a standard. We've got one, and that's too small for us. Another trailer. We've got a thirty and a. That is. Can you have too many trailers, though? Do we need a seed tender? No, we do. I don't think we do. But that I I do admit. I do think actually that probably isn't a bad one to have. Does this have a... No, it doesn't. This is the one that you would literally trail on another. We are going to have that. 
fantastic. There we go. Uh, yeah, the C Tender. We haven't got an 8RX. Otherwise, I might be tempted to do that. I might. Yeah. Right. So then, let's get this. Uh, let's go take that. We're going to feed the feed the ducks. I've got, <laughs> I've got to get out of the habit of saying feed the chickens. It's a habit. It really is. Do love that mod that we have got though. That is quite amazing. I've got the same one on Avon Valley. In fact, it was Avon Valley that I uh, sort of found it amazing. Uh, and on oh no, the Valley, the old farm. Which I always get confused. It is Green Bale. No, it is definitely. I just yeah, my uh, my mind is uh, a working, and it was saying no, Green Bale is definitely right. It is. It is. I do remember actually. It is. I, I did look the other day, and I I knew it was Green Bale at that point. And yeah. And I literally typed um, FS19 maps by Greenvale, and it came up with Greenwich Valley, which is, it was such an authentic, there's a real feel to the villages that really made that come alive. And you go through the two villages, no, actually, I think there's two or three villages. Yeah, there's the one. So, yeah, three strategically played villages, placed villages. And it just felt so real to me. I really did, and the traffic had an. I was at some of the worst possible fields with single gates that you could ever have, and it it really did produce an absolute, <laughs> an absolute laugh with me clanging the gates so frequently and almost losing like uh, yeah, lots of bales. I agree totally. I agree totally. It is terrible that your manure isn't working, but uh, we are here to feed you, so we're doing our best we can. Right, we want that in a minute. No, I think it is that way actually. We'd want some TMR. So I must remember it's to the right of this. One of these days I'll actually remember which way. Oh, that is a point. Let's put, oh no, 70 tons. I think, I think 70 tons is going to be fine. I think we need a little bit of storage over here, for, as if you would, for storage for the animals. And we might go for a little silo, which. Oh, can we? I actually, no, I think there is a proper one for animal feed, if I remember right. One of the. Um, show you. I shall show you. Because this is true to life. I've seen these myself. I think it's in silo extensions. I think. I might be wrong. It is. Um, or is it in silos? Yeah, it's. It, I think it is in silos. Oh, it might be containers. Well, there's too many things that contain things. Right, it is. I think I'm right. I think it's in containers. It is. I, I, I've, I've, yeah. Here we are. Not the uni though, but it's the karma ones. Special silos. One of these says liquids, karma feed. So to me suggests that we can put animal feed in that. I don't think that's a bad idea, really. And I think we could just store any excess in that. Really, we will do that, but I'm not going to do it this very minute. If if we run out of space on this this time, we will place one, as you would, because in Britain I see these feed bins quite frequently. I, I, we ought to get that. I mean, in real life, the cows would have eaten that an age ago, but yeah. Right, that's that, yeah, that is a point I would imagine. This is probably yeah, really low. Oh wow, that was not a bad guess. 11 tons off. 112 tons. Yeah, again, it's producing too much slurry and no. That is the real sort of point of this, isn't it? Right, so we want to fill at the same time. If you do that, it will then. Does this empty as well? It's quite an amazing thing. You can sort of like play with it when it's empty and you refill, and then it like empties again because it never, never got to the empty thing. It's quite. I love doing it, it's good fun. Yeah, you can see it's going up again and I told it to start filling because it had never stopped emptying, it refills, which is <laughs> quite good, really. Now then, are we going to not quite do it? I don't imagine so. Oh. Right, yeah, you see, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's good for uh, small things please small minds I admit it it's true right we need manure now and actually this is going to be almost perfect yeah I don't I have going forwards I don't really want to muck around with the this that five ton shed uh, yeah I've got to go through them because I can't go over that lump of uh, yeah 
yeah, in real life that would have been eaten a long time ago by the cows, let's be honest, but uh, yeah, we must get it up. I'm a terror for that kind of job, I always have been a little bit, and it is a bit bad. I think it, it is true, it's what I've always said actually, I'm a terror for wanting to do big things, and or, yeah, a lot of little things, which in real life you really would do. I, yeah, I'm a, oh, that's, no, it's, it's underneath, I'm not really running it over. Right, so we want manure, which is to the right. Yeah, let's try. I've got to get better on that. It, it, it's a, the session should last as long as a session is, but I'm too good at like thinking now. Nah, it's not really important because it doesn't impact the let's play, which is true to a degree. But then, would you just leave that? Well, I, I suppose yeah. The other thing is, you wouldn't just leave that, but also the cows would have long ago eaten it. It would not have lasted. Right, smashing. Yes, I am loving where we are. This is quite amazing. So October next month. What I'm liking, to, wanting to do is getting us right to October. Where if we're earning 600 grand a day, I've got to be honest. Yeah, sorry, I was saying and I like got to sidetracked. Yeah, I'm not wanting to upgrade the production shed because it's so good already that it would go so much out of hand if I upgrade because it's only 5,000. Can you imagine how many how I could upgrade that and it would like literally I, I could just we could just run um, muck across all day long so I'm going to keep it as it is in its most basic configuration because it's enough it is as we can see if you use two inputs then uh, yeah 600,000 at all every time I mention money always know that I'm on the wrong one that's the next one down Pounds, dollars is that way smashing right uh, I do believe we need to drop this for a minute and I believe we have ducks to feed and I think if I remember rightly it has actually got some in I, I'm sure I could see some from when we were coming across there and I need to be the other side I think I do indeed yes and I do agree, yeah, I mean, the, the bottom line is there are some Let's Plays when I really wouldn't want to, um, it's costing us twice as much to do this as I normally would if I bought the um, other feed, but it's, sometimes it's more about, let's see, I think it's going to say the whole, no, I don't, no, it's not, I'm going to say not the whole shebang. Right, let's let that go, that should last one more day, of course we've only got half of the the ducks. Let's have a look there. I would like to see the reproduction on both of these. More to show yourselves as well, because the, the months are going. Sixty percent reproduction. Oh, that losing. We're gonna have to. We are definitely gonna have to, because all it was was the water. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Now they ha will not have lost. No, they haven't. Eggs four thousand eight hundred forty-one. Health pubescent. Oh wow. Um. We appear to have filled our. We do, actually. I have not noticed that. We've got 800 out of 800. And. Wow, that's nicely shocked me. We've got 196 males. That is the thing that we have got to get rid of some of them, really, because we don't want that many males. We really don't. So then, I think we're going to sell these as you would do, as you could really and we're going to keep select and yeah we are going to sell yes eh? for zero it says one dollar huh? Well, I'm not used to selling for zero. I don't think I'm going to settle for that. I think we're going to buy um, from the CSZ pack that fantastic mod that allows you to grab them. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be that's got to be some sort of glitch because you are supposed to get a dollar. Now I didn't expect to make a fortune, but yeah, that that's a little bit. Uh, was that we just sold 120 for zero? We did, but only because I was not paying proper attention. And even though we're going to... Now, did I check the sales today? or was it yet? Yes, I did. It was yet today. I do apologise. I get so confused about whether I checked. Yeah, you know when you're going through the months and the months and the months? Yeah. 
my old grey cells they they do yes I know, it doesn't help I, I keep saying this I know but it is honestly the truth my job is one of those frenetic job where you're on your feet thinking all of the time so yeah it's uh, a <laughs> I do love this this lorry is amazing it really is fantastic I do love the fact that Julian F Modern has well I don't know if he's standing on the shoulders of giants and he's had assistance but where nevertheless it is amazing really do love it right so then the newer we should get rid of all of this and that should pretty much oh indicator mr smith switch oh it did not switch off i think i i have a nasty habit of double catching it i do switch it you will have heard me click but uh, yeah I, I must click it so fast that it doesn't i don't know i don't know what to do i'm a terror the same as i often uh second one second Ooh, well it well, would slip it's 70 tons as powerful as it is weight is weight right so we need to be going through till October morning we have fed the ducks no no we are not gonna rush through we are gonna do we are now who are we gonna we need the class we do Actually, no, we need our special, well, they're all special, but yeah, we need the proper front loader jobby, which I think, did we not leave that over the road? I think we did. Well, this is looking a bit, we're not really putting away our stuff properly, are we? We've got a baler left over there. I did do think we said that we we're going to cut the grass. I, I think these are at different growth stages. Isn't that first growth stage? No way to tell anymore. That's the one thing that I do miss from FS19. Well, one of the things I miss from FS19 is the fact you could actually tell the growth stage of the grass. Yeah, you could. It's true. Right, let's let you go. Oh, no, we have the slurry to get. Do we not? But let's shift that out of the way. we do let's not forget that 100 and something tons so we can i mean that that is also it's not just the fertilizer that's making that really do oh uh, i do believe you're forgetting about your new field i think that's ready today where you're swanning around as if you've got all the time in the world when i actually think that your field of sorghum with those yeah you can see where the damage you did where that is definitely ready to harvest it is so then we got, what we're going to do is we're going to yeah this is going to be probably a shorter session we're going to do that yeah we're going to grab the slurry and get that out of the way so the next session we are concentrating on the harvest now let's have a look can we we can get on the road yeah we'll get the slurry into those two things ready for tomorrow and i'm well loving this if yeah, no matter what, it, for October we will... I'm going to go the forage thing for that. And also, if we're going to do that... I imagine we need, we need to actually do corn for corn. Yeah, we do. That is true. But, uh, yeah, we don't want to do it for chaff. That's my point. I really don't. Right, indicate Mr. Smith. No, this is true. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Now then, hug to the right because this is a long. Yeah, learn your lesson from Greenwich Valley. Clang in the gates. And uh, well, what's the other one? This is the trouble. Every time I remember Greenwich Valley, all of the other ones, Greenlands. That's the one. I always forget the other ones with green in the title. <laughs> Don't ask me. I have no idea why. But I do. Right, we should take this across the road, and ah, that's what we need. We need you over there. So while that's, ah, yeah, let's grab you. We do need you. Ah, we must have had that. We, yeah, we must have obviously not reset the thing when that was there. I remember actually. Yes, I did say. I've not reset, so we've got a ton of lime over here, which we've left over here, which we need to grab at some point. That's the class. I would like to try that on the class as well. 
see if that's a better fit. Uh, well, really, for this, if this fits nicely for the AGM, I'll be well chuffed. But I'm not holding my breath, really. Let's get this ready. Right, 67 tons is really neat. I did say this, there would be a day when we pretty much had to do two journeys and this will be the one. Yeah, I was saying, wasn't I? And then I sort of got sidetracked as I frequently do. Yeah, it isn't just the fertiliser that's uh, getting all of the uh, the money as it is. It really is obviously the BGA as well. And we've still, I think, we've still got some silage going through now. I'm sure when I looked earlier, yeah, we'd still got the silage going through, which look into that. Looks like we ran out last night. We did have it yesterday when I looked, so um, yeah, we will I'll put some slurry in, in a minute and that will obviously be going again. So yeah, canola oil is still going nicely. So that should mean, if we look at the time saving stock check, because that is, please tell me, I did do a level 2, didn't I? So it should be really motor. It is, it did about 20 tonnes. Yeah, so 87,000 worth of produce. Well, we're not selling that, are we? Please tell me I haven't got that on selling. It shouldn't be selling, it should be storing. Yes, it is, 20 tonnes storing. Brilliant. And I don't mind selling it. I always, at the beginning of FS22, always used to sell. Giants have changed the transport costs a little bit. They still don't frighten me like everyone was trying to exaggerate that it was eating like 70% and stuff like that. It really isn't. It's a random factor between about 3 and 7% uh, transport costs. So I don't mind. I think your transport network, yeah, they, they, they it is, it's good enough really to actually pay that. I personally believe I'm quite happy with that. Now be careful. Don't want to be ripping the fields. Yeah, I do want to be using that forage, have the 9 meter one that you can get. I've ne always wanted to do it. I, same as poplars, I've never got around to using that 9 meter X collect header for that, but I'd like to do that this this time because we are really in a position to be buying a forage um, harvester, so we will be, even if we have to get one brand new because we can afford it, which I am loving. It's nice to. When I think of the. Um, beginning of the let's play that turnaround bit where I was I really was actually quite worried about the amount that it was costing us on a daily basis I think we're down to well 30, 30, 25 30,000 and I was like thinking oh my life that's five months operating costs and then we're bankrupt it was quite worrying and then obviously later that day we'd got the BGA and we turned it around and then that was the rest is history as that saying goes right so we stick as much as we can in here and then we will go and grab the rest and we should stick that in the BGA and then that is where we're going to leave this now I do believe yes here that's near the blue bucket slurry it's going to be up to 100 grand water I think the water is only yeah we don't need it for the solid fertilizer and we don't need it for the seeds now are we going to do the corn completely or do we do half and half do we do half if we're going to get a forage harvester do we do half and half that's not a bad we could do that do some for chaff for this and some for uh, making I don't know which one would be more cost effective but no it's a bit further that's it and also this only takes 70 yards so imagine, yeah it's going to be about right BG, I think it's only 75 tons of slurry you can stick in at once. So let's get this sorted. Yeah, um, yeah, the grass. Do you know something? With with everything else, I'm going to leave it because I would like to hit that the grass the first month. I don't. Or, well, I think it is actually April. If you leave it, it starts April again. I think on third growth stage. But if I think that's correct, we could buy another field. Are we not going to go big in this? We said. Mind you, mm. if we are, I tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to go big, big. I believe field eight next to us is a big field. I was looking at it earlier, but we do need. Yeah, we've got to do this in stages. 
Do we, are we going to go sheep as well? Are we going to really... We would lose this field to the right of us, but I'm quite prepared to do that if we're going to go... Very rare do I go three animals. I usually stick to two, but... It's, yeah, there's, there's a, a first time for everything. And she, I've got to be honest, sheep are so very little trouble that it's unbelievable, really. Yeah, not quite a full load, but yeah, not uh, not bad. Yeah, I think we will actually. We could always. Um, yeah, I'm not pleased with my grass fields, uh, but I'm. It really. I think again, actually, that is true. If I was going to do anything, I might actually think leave that one alone because I am right. The the big 90 meter windrower really does need quite a nice field for that so i suppose if we have a quick look whilst being as this is the session and we're not doing the uh, harvest until next session field six would make a you know the one that we actually did have would make a good grass field and is very close to us i'm um, just down that road uh, yeah, field eight was the one I was looking at, not as a <laughs> not as a grass field, no. Oh, is it field eleven? No, it's just field eight plot eleven is <gasps> two million. It's it's pretty bad though. Whereas that, yeah, by comparison, that's better. That's not bad. What about across the road? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, they're, they're all as you'd expect, really. Field six, how much is that? 1,122, which is nearly what we've got. And no, I'm not going to buy that now, but it is a big field. We could... Do we go in field nine for grass? I, I would like... Yeah, what I'm tempted to do... If you look closely at field six, I'm going to do it with this one, because, like, yeah, there, where that water thing is, I, I could split it about there and have... Yeah, but what's the track like to get to it? Yeah, because I'd like the back bit of that to be grass, really, if I was going to do that. What about field 19? Is that a good enough shape? If we cut that little bit off there, would it be big enough? I'm trying to think that's it's about the same size as the good side of field two. We could ex use the rest of our grass field as a bit of an extension of the yard, is what I'm thinking. Because that's one thing I am going to say, the yard is not fantastic. If we're going to make the most out of this, I, I think we could do that. And that we could just use that because it's, it's not a nice shape for the mowers. It really isn't. I suppose we could make the other side of sit field too, with having those productions on that side, make that into grass, and actually mow that instead of that. We could have a rejig. So field five or field six are both good, but we would have to have get some big equipment if we're going to do that. I am tempted. I am very tempted. But I say, yeah, forage harvester first. Yeah, we need to. Uh, what was it? Not acclimate, that's not the right word. What is that one for? Making the most of a victory. It's, um... Is it acclimate? I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Whoa, there, Tiger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, let's get this, uh, let's get this sorted and then we're going to leave it at that point. It's, the word I'm trying to think of is when you, um, in a battle, you can you can go off and fight again, and you've not not sort of like recovered from the the battle that you first had, and obviously you can do badly. Yeah, it's 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 not expansion. Either. What is it I'm trying to think of? can't think of the word no it, it'll come to me of course as soon as I stop recording and at that point I will remember totally what the word is but yeah we've basically not made the most of we've not got to that point where yeah basically what I could do is I could spend all that money and we could have zero again and I don't want to do that I want to go from a position of strength so if we were going to buy that I want a bit left so if we're going to buy that forage 
harvester, which we are, we could do that now, actually. No, because, as I keep saying, it, by, we would kick yourself silly if tomorrow morning you get that. Uh, and do we get... I think we do. Off camera, I'm going to grab the... I do think I am right about this harvester. It has been a firm favourite of mine. And right at the beginning, it was not bad with the smaller headers. But it doesn't seem to be... I mean, I, I expected quite a lot from it with this size header. And it really isn't delivering. So I am truthfully really thinking that this may be the last ride on this Let's Play of the Case 2388. I, I might actually... Oh, we need to repair that before we do anything. Yeah, it just never self unloads and it is important as I said really the Dominet and the Deutz that the starter harvester that's on almost every let's play that most people use is such a fantastic harvester for unload and as is the Dominator as well I've got to be honest I've got to give it to them that uh, they're both better than this and it was good at the beginning I just don't understand I always knew that I'd, when I was putting the 12 meter plus that that was that was down to me really was if you use the 10 meter uh, 8.5 and that it really was okay but we'll be using a 10 meter and it, it just it's almost like it can't it's almost like it can only really supposed to use the 8.5 meter header which yeah unfortunately for a harvester of this caliber is a bit of a yeah it is a bit of a mistake and we can only just do that yeah so bottom line is I suppose, I suppose, really, yeah, if you're thinking this is a start of harvest, it's well more powerful than that, though. I, I actually really tested that out. Right. Oh, wow, it was quite bad. Yeah, quite, tested that out quite early on and realised that it was a really powerful. I suppose it, it's true. What size is that header? 6.8 metre. Yeah, because if this is supposed to be a start of harvester, I suppose you could just use an 8.5 metre header with it. I'm tempted to ask the shop to deliver. We haven't we haven't really abused that, and see if with an 8.5 metre header this self unloads better than it has done. And the other thing is on camera, I wish to clean that out just now because it's going to be carrying grain next session, so we don't want any filthy residues of manure in that that's not right not right at all is that is that muck that you can see on there at the bottom no it's not shifting so i don't think so it's almost like the paint's marked or something like that or is it a reflection oh it's a reflection of something right i am actually that, that's that's intriguing because if i knew that this only works with the 8.5 metre header then I would use the 8.5 metre header and not go any higher so we are going to give you a fine chance we are going to ask the shop to deliver I'll do this, I'll do it off camera so it's a bit more realistic but yes we, there will be a header waiting for us we will uh, yeah we will, we'll lease it it's a shame that's not slightly bigger actually it's not far off but let's grab that we have left it down at the we want normal header H for header and of course we are going to go for the case uh, it might be the 7.5 meter I'm sure there was an 8 something yeah there is 48,000 we are going to lease that and if it does work we're going to stick to that and we will look for a bigger thing so that's where I'm going to leave it but we will test that so all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope that you're going to stick with me on this very exciting journey. I do love where we are. It is quite amazing that the freedom that we've got for buying equipment and the equipment is blossoming. We're not, we're not there yet. There's a lot of stuff to buy. I think tractor-wise we are. Yeah, but the, as I say, harvester. I'd like to get for, go for something like the twin screw or a couple of twin screws on this and maybe keep this, still keep it for the smaller fields like field one and things like that. Just let that chug along while leaving the the two bigger ones actually churning along on fields like, yeah, I'd say I would like to go big, but you need big equipment if you're going to go big. 
so yes I, I'm thinking perhaps yeah field eight's not a very nice field it's a strange shape but I, I we can I could that's okay but I doubt field four or field three I think is what we would go for which they are very large maybe three because of the split in four I would say I suppose if that no no we I think we I think we're right we'll do field two as our grass field and we will put the uh, sheep over there which we will do next session so yeah all that remains to be said is goodbye for now